Hi there, this is Holly from Let's Plan Planners making a quick tutorial video to show you how you would download your digital bundle and stickers. So this is a PDF page you'll receive with your purchase. This first page just explains a few things, has tutorial links on how to add your planners to the note-taking apps, how to um, download and use your stickers. Down here you have access your new planner bundle. I'm going to click on that. It'll take us over to this page where you actually will access, you can't see the top here, but it says click on any product image below to gain access. I'm going to show you how to download this digital planner. So on each of those, it'll be take you to another page that shows you how to download those planners. Um, here we can um, watch the video how to download it from Dropbox, how to navigate, and how to get to the stickers that come with this particular planner. I'm going to click on access your digital planner. This is taking us to Dropbox. Now with this planner, it's the only one um, in this bundle that's slightly different with the downloading process because you have options to choose from before you download your planner. So you will receive this page. On this page, you do need to choose if you want um, a Mon Monday start, a Sunday start, if you want blush, purple, gray, or teal colored ta uh, tabs that go around your planner, and if you want a horizontal week or a vertical weekly layout. Now with the weekly layout, that is only going to change the weekly layout, not your entire planner. So this is a landscape planner. If you choose the horizontal weekly layout, it will not change your planner to horizontal. I do get a lot of customers that get a little tripped up with that. Um, so you're just changing your weekly layout option. So you would go through this page. If you want the teal or gray colored planner tabs, you would click on page two. So you'll read each one. If you want blush tabs, Sunday start in a vertical week, I'm going to click on this one here. Now this is going to take me to Dropbox again with the planner I want to download. So from here, we would not open or use the tabs on the planner. We would just go to download. And depending on the browser you are using, your downloads may be located in a different spot. So I'm in Safari. My download icon is right here, this little arrow with the line on it. Um, I used to have a button that said download. On my MacBook, it's in a different spot. So you just need to find your download section. So right here, or button I should say, I click on download. It gives me this pop-up window. Now sometimes I get multiple pop-up windows and that may happen for you. Dropbox is a business, they're trying to make money. Sometimes you'll get a pop-up window asking you to sign up, making it sound like you need to have the app to download any of my products, which is not true. So if any of those happen, just go ahead and close them. The only one you can be concerned about is if you get a pop-up saying, go to dropbox.com, which if you look at the top, I am in dropbox.com. 99.9 .9 of the time, it just takes you to dropbox.com. I don't know how some customers don't get it. I believe it might be a browser issue, but if you're not in dropbox.com, go to dropbox.com and um, let it take you there and then do the same process. So when you click on download, this pop-up window happens, which we do want. In this blue download, we are just confirming that we are downloading by tapping on that. Depending on your browser, it may pop up in a different section. So find your blue download and click download and it just takes a second on the iPad. It's just right up here and it's already done. And that's it. We don't do anything else in Dropbox. We close out of Dropbox and we go to the app that will be reading your planner. Let me show you quickly how easy it is to get into GoodNotes. So I'm in GoodNotes here. Um, most of the apps work in a very similar manner. So even if you're using a different app, it may be helpful to watch this video. I'm gonna go to the app. I'm going to go to import. So you will need to find where you're um, able to import your documents. On, in GoodNotes, this empty triangle with a plus sign. Click on that, click on import. This is going to jump me to my files on my device. So now we need to find the file we just downloaded, which was that Lush Planner. I always go to Recents. If I wanted to look through all the different areas, downloads, iPads, I could probably find it also. For me, it's easier to go to Recent. It's right here. Click on it and then click Open. It's going to open it up in your um, GoodNotes app. Just takes a second, you can see this blue line working right here. This is a pretty large file, so depending on your internet download speeds, it may take a few minutes. Sometimes mine, of course, happens super quickly. Other times it takes a minute. So you can see it kind of in the background here with the little wheel turning. It will pop open on your page once it's completely downloaded and ready to use, and this little box will go away. So just give it a second here. 
I'm on internet magic, there it is. It'll pop open on your screen, like I said. There it is. Obviously, this is um, a planner that we would wanna turn our iPad. Come on, iPad, there we go. Um, to the side to use, and that is it. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me on Etsy and go ahead and look for those other tutorial videos if you still need help. Thank you.